hey guys i just wanted to show you a few tricks on how you can solve some exponential equations and in this particular problem i'm having here it says uh solve for x and i've got an exponential equation uh this is mathematics n4 by the way and how do we go about solving uh, this kind of a problem so we're given 8 over 10 all to the power of 2x minus 5 is equal to 5 over 2 all to the power of x so now how do we go about solving this um i will prefer uh let's use lean you can even use logs it's still the same whether you're using lean or you're using logs the answer will still be the same uh, let me use a lean for example um, or in this case you are using the laws of logarithms so if i can introduce lean on both sides it will be lean and then i've got 8 over 10 to the power of 2x minus 5 and then this is equal to again lean 5 over 2 and then to the power of x so as i said i just introduced lean and if you still remember the laws of logarithms this is a power that will drop down and then the exponent will also drop down in this case so what i'm going to have i will have 2x minus 5 this must be in brackets very important and then i've got lean 8 over 10 is equal to again i drop my x and lean in this case i have got 5 over 2 so with that i'm able uh if i can just give a little bit of space i'm able now to expand uh this part because i need to collect like terms then i can expand whereby um the lean will multiply and the lean will multiply that i have to open that bracket so that i have 2x lean 8 over 10 and then i've got minus 5 lean 8 over 10 and then this gives me x lean 5 over 10 two and then when i've done that i can collect my like terms whereby um the x with the lean jumps the equal sign and the number only goes to the other side and then what i'll have is in this case it will be my 2x and then lean 8 over 10 and then it becomes minus x lean 5 over 2 is equal to then the 5 will be i mean the negative 5 lean that will become positive lean 8 over 10 so with that i'm able then to factorize as you can see i'm able now to factorize my x in this case so when i factorize i will have x and then I've got 2 lin 8 over, I mean, not log, as I said, you can use logs, but I'm working with lin. So it's 2, I mean, it's x into 2 lin 8 over 10. I've got that. And I can actually make that a big bracket. And then minus, in this case, I've factorized x, it will be simple lin 5 over 2. And then close the bracket this will be equal to 5 and then it's lean 8 over 10 so that is that and remember I'm solving for X I have to divide everything by 2 lean in this case 8 over 10 minus lean 5 over 2 and now because my space I'll also divide that uh, by 2 lin 8 over 10 
minus lin 5 over 2. So what I do on the left, I must do on the right. So that's where I'm going to cancel that. Therefore, my x will be equal to. And then if I can uh, use my calculator in all of this, I've got 5 lin in bracket. It's 8 over 10, right? And then divided by 2. And then I've got lin in bracket it's uh, 8 over 10 and then you close the bracket and then it's minus again it's lin in bracket which is uh, 5 over 2 and then I have to close that bracket so I think um, you just need to be careful that uh, you did enter everything correctly there and then my answer you can see x is equal to 0 0.8188 if i'm rounding off to two decimal places, i say shift i mean three decimal places which is what you usually leave your answer with you press shift and then setup you press six for fix and then i need three decimal place which is 0 0.819 so that is the answer 0 0.819 so that's the value of x as I said, it is using the laws of logarithms. So where there is lean, you can actually use log. And when you are entering with the calculator, uh, you can see if I if I were using logs, I will say uh, in this particular case, you will see the answer will be the same. I will put my fraction and say five. Now, if I'm working with base 10, I'll say log and then it will be 8 over 10. See that? And then go down again as to be 2 log in fraction is 8 over 10. And then you close that. And then it will be minus log of fraction 5 over 2. And then with that, you'll see now the answer is still maintained as the same as you can see is maintained as the same as 0 0.819 again with the logarithms as i was saying the assumption was i was working with base 10 but you can still choose any base if you're working with base 2 in this case you'll be having your fraction let's say you you want to work with base 2 now now you use this kind of log where you put your 2 and then you put your uh, fraction there it will be 8 over 10 and everything must be in base 2 and your answer will still be the same as uh, 0, 0.819. Now, let me check if my answer is correct. Now, I will use um, the original, which is uh, 8 over 10. In this case, uh, it's bracket. It's 8 over 10. Close the bracket to the power of 2 now remember my answer in this case was 0 0.89 so it will be 2 bracket 0 0.819 right and then this is minus 5 and then now if uh, the 5 over 2 to the power of x jumps the equal sign it becomes a minus in bracket and then i have that which is 5 over 2 2 and then close the bracket to the power x remember my x is 0 comma 819 now because i subtracted that it must be equal to 0 so when i say equal sign you can see that this is minus 4 comma 944 times 10 to the power negative 4 now if i can say shift setup there and then I use, I think I must use, um, yeah, I used six there. And then if I want to make, to see how many decimals I have, let me use nine there. You can see it is minus zero comma zero 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 four nine, which is more like zero. So the answer then it means it is correct. So this is how you can solve for X using the laws of uh, exponents in chem that is exponential equations.
I hope this was of benefit to you. Remember to press the like button so that you can get more of these as we post them. Thank you.